welcome to the Lala Bell Show. And now, here she is, the southernmost queen of talk, Lala Bell. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we can pull the music down a little bit. The music, Nancy, thank you. Thank you, and welcome to the Lala Bell Show. Uh, Goddess will not be with us again this evening. I think he's over in Switzerland, has some kind of, he's having, she's having some kind of electrical work done to her impress, or she's having something cut off or something put in, or maybe just her teeth straightened. And before I start with tonight's show, you know, I started out uh, a couple of weeks ago with the uh, International Gay uh, Global Moment. And this is provided by Celebrate, uh, uh, Nathan Gay, who's the editor, and also QTV, who's going to put it all through the internet across the United States and in Europe and probably Russia and Brazil and other places like that. So let me get started with that because I have a very, very exciting show. I have some import for you this evening. And it won't be a one-woman show tonight, I guarantee it. All right, so here we go. The, oh, yep, the United King, Kingdom's Royal Navy is partnering with leading gay rights group Stonewall in an effort to increase gay enlistment and encourage more gay sailors to come out of the closet. The Sunday uh, Times reported that the uh, United Kingdom lifted its military gay, ba gay ban in 2000. So that's, that's history there. That's a long time. Vice Admiral Sir James Burnell Nugent said sailors coming out would contribute to a culture in which all our people are valued for themselves and are thus able to give 100% to their job. You know, I wish this show would go to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Maybe those people up there with red eyes and red states could learn something. Commodore Paul um, Dockery said it's quite possible that we, ha we will have a gay admiral in the fullness of time. We have had gay animals in the past, but they haven't come out. And also, something from Brazil. A judge in Brazil, which registers same-sex civil unions, now this is Brazil, not the United States, has granted a divorce to a formerly union couple. Government prosecutors had argued against allowing the divorce, saying it would imply there had been a marriage. But Family and Inheritance Court Judge uh, Roberto Arriada Leoria declared that to assign a different treatment to homosexuals would be disrespectful to the principles of equality. Again, this is not the United States, it's Brazil. It would be absurd to accept that the, to accept that the judicial power closes its eyes not only to changes that are taking place in our society, but also to the federal constitution that rules our nation. He said in the absence of explicit legislation, there is no reason to unfairly judge what happens in social minorities that are already heavily discriminated against. And so that's wonderful to hear from Brazil. And again, from the uh, United Kingdom, uh, couples who have entered a legal same-sex union overseas will not need to re-register in the UK to be recognized. There will even be a formal court-based process for dissolution of civil partnerships. Registered partners will receive rights and obligation in areas such as accents, compensation, life insurance, immigration, inheritance, taxation, a spouse and child support, and workplace benefits. And here's something about the um, Anglian Church. We won't go into that. Half of you wouldn't believe it anyway. And so that's it for the uh, International Gay Global Minute. Now, if you'll just allow me to walk over here to my set, see I'd have a new walk and everything. Um, let me just say a few words about our sponsors. And Lucy, I think I'll sit right here instead of walking around there so you can get my butt like you normally do. Um, see if I can sit like a lady. Excuse the glasses again. Atlantic Shores Resort, as you can see, is the big sponsor. They have movies Thursday nights and uh, wonderful tea nights every Sunday from 7 till 11. Uh, they also have a great little uh, Dinah Shores breakfast. They have a wonderful breakfast there. Blossoms in Paradise, which you saw, and I will give away tonight on the show. And if you would like to call in now at 292-7360, I'll give it to the first caller, and that's 292-7360. And if I don't get any calls, I'm taking it home. I'm going to make a risk massage out of it. Fast Food Food Palace is not just a grocery store, but a social gathering place. And then Dr. Charles Kessinger, who is an uh, uh, intern, uh, internist, who um, gives acupuncture. He's, uh, he's just a wonderful, wonderful doctor. Um, 
You need to go see him at 302 Southern Street, and he's also listed in the phone book. That's Dr. Charles Kessinger, and very handsome, I should say. Weiland Galleries at three locations in Key West, and hopefully in a couple of months I will have Weiland on the show to ex Was that something I was supposed to do? And the Keys Home Theater, uh, celebrate the newspaper. Uh, I want to thank Nathan Gay, and you can go to celebrate the newspaper to see what's happening around, and some stories in there that allow it to tee you off or piss you off or something that you might enjoy. And Pistol and Enema for all the, the bitching, whether it's true or false, Go on Pistol Anonymous, wonderful, and that pistol is such a bitch, I'm telling you. And then 801 Cabaret Complex, we'll get to them in a few moments, but there are shows at the Bourbon, at the 801, um, across from the, minute, could we hold that please, thank you. Um, there's drag shows seven nights a week at 9 and 11, then the Cabaret upstairs opens at 801, and there's never ever a cover charge. So come down and see some of the best drag, probably if not the best, drag in Key West and also in the La Tida, they have Broadway three ways and Saturday night they're doing the um, uh, Chicago and if you've seen the, the uh, Broadway three ways they do a wonderful job and with as, with as much talent as there is in town especially the Bourbon Street complex there's enough time to fit in the Bourbon Street and La Tida and you can see Christopher Peterson and Mr. Randy Roberts as well as the uh, by George piano um, players and singers there and um, also, before I get to the phone, I do want to c congratulate Lisette for winning this um, week's drag karaoke at the Bourbon Street Complex, and I'll give you a little bit more on that. I believe I have a phone call. Hello. Hello. Well, hi there. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. And who's calling? This is Janet. <laughs> Janet. Oh, no, not Janet. Damn it, Janet. Damn it, Janet. Yes, it was Janet, Janet. <laughs> oh, I'm at, I'm morning. at... Uh, thank you for calling. I met you this afternoon. You're one of those big knockers, aren't you? That's the one. Uh -huh. they, they're the ones that deformed your son Edward's mouth, aren't they? That's the ones that deformed <laughs> Edward. <laughs> well, Janet, it's awfully sweet of you it's, uh, to call in, and I'll tell you where you can get those flowers. I uh, will take them down to the um, uh, 801. Uh, actually, I'll leave them at the 801 complex, and you can pick them up there probably tomorrow or this evening if I go by there and drop them off. And Edward, okay. Edward, and it's sweet of you, and thank you so much. And where are you from, Janet? Originally, I'm from England, but I live in Baltimore, and I've been there for 22 years. Oh, my Lord, you're from Fells Point, aren't you? Nah. Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> you're from the gutter then, maybe, huh? Uh, no, no, just a bit higher up than the gutter. Uh -huh. Oh, well, you people who, who don't know who Janet is, uh, she's the mother of our uh, fantastic uh, bar back evening manager of Edward who works over the 801 and the Bourbon Street complex in the evenings and cutest little fellow you'll want to see and for you people up at uh, Big Pine, Key Largo, Marathon come down and see some of what we have to offer and if you people have something up there that you would like me to announce for you uh, please I think that they have my uh, email address they will probably show it sometimes throughout the uh, throughout the broadcast and also my uh, cell phone if you'd like to call me for for any reason and so with that I think um, you know before we go to the song if, if uh, while our, our while my next host is getting ready um, Sunday um, March 6 from 11 to 5 it's the Willie Walker's Chocolate Festival second annual and it's um it's to sponsor the the uh, Florida Keys uh, victims of cancer and it's all the chocolates you can eat it's from the uh, primary restaurants and some not so primary everybody um, in Key West and up and down the Keys as I should say it's it's this is not only a Key West show it's for you people up the Keys too a cash bar is available for the big kids meeting you people 21 and over and it's this um, Sunday March 6 from 11 to 5 and it's only ten dollars and that's not bad for chocolate it's the southernmost house, and everybody knows where that's at. It's the very end of the Duval Street at 1400 uh, D Duval, and it's sponsored by Kids Fighting Cancer and Sugarloaf Middle School. So you people up in Sugarloaf, spread the word up north, down south, and let's make a big turnout. And if you'd like more information, and if you have a pencil or pen or eyebrow or tube or lipstick, it's 797-7023. So give these people a call, and it's 100% all the money goes to the... Uh, kids with cancer and, and you know how important that is to us that's our future ladies and gentlemen boys and girls drag queens and whatever it is 
that we are talking about. So now, someone who just came down from New York City that is performing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night at the Bourbon Street Complex. Ladies and gentlemen, she is a star in her own right. It's Portia. Thank you, Mama. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm Portia Lee. I'm the first I'm going to start to share. And all that Slick your hair and wear your buckled shoes. And all that jazz, I hear that Father Dip is gonna blow the blues. And all that jazz. Carol Channing, come on, babe, we're gonna bunny hug. I bought some aspirin down at United Drug. In case we shake apart and want a brand new start, well, to do ah, that. Ah, Yes, Judy Garland. Oh, you're gonna see my Shiva shimmy shake and all that jazz. Oh, I'm gonna shimmy, darling. Yes, I am. Till my guard is break and all that jazz. Show me where to park my park my girdle. Yes. Oh, her mother's blood would curdle. If she here, lies are married a queer and all that jazz. Macy Gray. Father Plask, we're playing fast and loose. Yeah, whoa, and all that jazz. Well, right up here is where I store the juice. Say what? Uh-huh. And all that jazz. Well, come on. Joplin. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that is Portia, the lady with a thousand plus voices. And we're going to go to a break. And Big Mama Bush, you're at the Garden Bar, and you people who are watching the show and all the bars, restaurants in your home, in your, well, never mind, in your, in your bedroom maybe, do a, a shot of snobs. Big Mama Bush, get those snobs going around their own joy. And if Joy says anything, just tell them to shove it, clown you. Everybody out there comes to see you, to come to see Lollabell. Give them a shot of peppermint stuff. We'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. That was absolutely wonderful. Just breath. My ocean murals around the world. I'm asking you today to join Reef Relief, one of the great grassroots organizations that protect our coral reefs around the world. They've done a great job, and the reefs are important and vital to each and every one of us. So join Reef Relief today and help save our ocean planet.
Hello, and welcome back to the Lalabelle Show. Oh, wow, that, that Portia is something else, and I'm going to get to speak with her in just a moment. I do um, want to say one thing. I forgot to tell you that to call the box office at Lati Dyes, 296-6706, and then for the Bourbon Street Complex, you just go and show up. And for the drag shows, like I said, they're at 9 and 11 in the cabaret upstairs at 801 Bar, opens at, at 8 o'clock. Big Mama Bush, pour that shot. And it's my pleasure. Portia, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Lola Bell. You're so sweet. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Oh. I, I'm honored. Oh, I'm honored. Oh, please. Oh, well, listen. Well, let's start out. First of all, you're playing down at, um, at the Bourbon Street Complex. Yes, I am. And if you would, uh, it's, uh, you performed there last night and tonight and tomorrow night. Yes, at 8.30 sharp. At 8.30 sharp, because we have the uh, big boys coming on. Hello. The Beef on the Reef, I think the they're The Hung called. Boy. Oh, they're the Beef lovely. on the Reef, I like that. I uh, know. <laughs> that's what I heard. I don't know. I've seen some of them. Uh, now, is just this weekend, or are you coming down for are you um, Actually, I'll be here next week, too. Oh, great. Yeah, they just, extended me. I'm so happy. They extended Porsche. They did. They extended <laughs> Porsche. I oh, my believe Lord. It. Can you, it's like, it's, it's like they extended on Broadway, isn't it? It is. Held over. Uh-huh. Oh. And this is tonight and I mean, tomorrow and next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Saturday at, at 8.30. 830. And mm -hmm. please, please go see this, this Porsche. She is absolutely a genius. You're so sweet. Well, it, it's true. It's true. Now, let me see. I know that you work with shredded, uh, uh, headed lettuce. Sorry. Oh, Hedda. Yeah. Hedda, yeah. I call her shredded. She was supposed to come on the show one time, and the witch didn't show up. And ever since then, we've been calling her. She's shredded lettuce. Shredded lettuce. Yeah. But well, she's, she's, she's a very good friend. Oh, of she is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. yeah she's great. Mm -hmm. Now, you've worked with Debbie Ringer, a blondie. Yeah. Um, and there were some other people, and who have you performed in New York City, oh, and how goodness. you got started, and what did your mama say? What did my mama say? Well, I came out of the womb with a tap number and a curtain call, so <laughs> yeah, I, my mother never really had a problem with it. And yeah. she actually, my, she and my grandmother, I'm from Austin, Texas. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they, uh, they came up and saw one of my shows and loved it. Oh, that's great. I started at 21 on a dare. At 21? Mm-hmm. Now look at me. Good Lord, have you ever performed at, is it called Lipstick? At Lips? At Lips, yeah. Yes, yes. the restaurant. Oh, yes, yeah, of course. I love that place. I used to go up, we used to have, there was a, uh, a group of us that go up for the uh, International um, Entertainment and Business Expo at the Javits Center and would mm -hmm. always go down to Lips. Oh, absolutely. I mean, where else can you get a high heel in your steak? It's fabulous. <laughs> and if it's tough, honey, you take the high heel off and beat <laughs> the hell out of that soccer. And then beat the queen that served it to that, you. That's true. Oh, yeah. So, are you performing anywhere now in New York? Oh, absolutely. Um, I do a place called OW on 58th between 2nd and 3rd. It's oh. a wonderful lounge. Um, I'm doing that, and I'm also doing a place in the East Village. It's brand new. It's called Orchid. Orchid? Yeah, it's kind of a rock and roll fag party. It's fun. <laughs> it really is fun. Uh, All those you, skinny East Village boys. Have you done any theater up there, or is it just Absolutely. not allowed? Really? Absolutely. Um, for, th th uh, for two years, I was in a show called Christmas with the Crawfords off Broadway, uh -huh. which got a lo it got big reviews. It was actually running in San Francisco before we did it in New York. And Joey Arias, I don't know if you know him, he was our Joan Crawford. And then Hedda did it in San Francisco. Oh, wow. Oh, it's, a, it's Mommy Dearest the Musical with all drag queens. Oh, my Lord, that must be absolutely wonderful. You can only imagine. <laughs> you know, I think um, I was talking to some friends, and we were thinking about getting together a bus and tr a truck tour. I'm sure you know uh -huh. bus and truck. It's, bus and truck is one of those cheap touring companies that can't afford to fly you, so everybody gets on a bus with a pickup truck behind with sceneries, makeup, and sets. And, and we all go, used to go from, I used to do bus and truck years ago. Uh -huh and uh, on the east, east Coast. It was out of Washington, D.C. and not New York City. And um, it's an awful lot of fun. There's nothing like living the life of a gypsy, is there? Oh, not at all. Living out of a body bag, yeah. I tell you. <laughs> that's, that's what I ended up doing. I only thought, okay, I'll be here for a couple of days. No, I stayed. Well, good for you, dear. There's no good drag shopping in Key West, though. Oh, oh, I'm right. going to end up wearing Chico's. Tell me where to go. You don't like our Salvation Army? I haven't been. I don't oh. know where it is. Honey, no. I've barely gotten off Duval. Well, let me take you to some places. We have Will some you? wonderful places. Oh, yes. Goddess has a wonderful wall, uh, closet. I have a good closet. So she, oh, there's a, lots of places to shop. Lots of places. Oh, good. Just oh, let yes, me know. And, and recycle the, 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 you know, the trash bins you know, around the back of the rich people's house. Oh, they well. good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they do. When did you sort of first uh, found, uh, this, decided that you could, um, Lucy, could you give her a hand here? I got so, it. Oh, okay. Um, when you first started singing with your real voice, did you ever start with lip sync and then 
graduate? Or? Actually, yeah. Um, I'd been singing for years when I was little. I was in a Texas boys choir. Surprise, I'm a boy. Um, I'm sorry, you were high tenor. Yes, I was. I, my voice <laughs> didn't change until I was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Then you got off your knees and started doing baritone? Well, sorry. that's when I stopped going to church. <laughs> no, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. And then, um, actually, I did a, a show in high school where they wanted me to do Patsy Klein. So, oh, wow. Yeah, it was supposed to be a joke, but they, were, they said, you really sound good, so... That was your first live? It was. And then with my first drag show, I actually lip-synced half my show and then the other half live. And do you think, is Patsy part of your report? Do you do Patsy now? Every now and then. Every now and then she'll come out when a good old strapping Texas boy comes to the show. Oh, my Lord, I bet it's all Patsy and Loretta. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do Tammy? Absolutely. Oh, Tammy is my favorite. Absolutely. Just my favorite. Oh, me too. What, do, what is your most asked question or requested song when it comes to females, uh, your impersonation? Janice Joplin. Janice. Oh, absolutely. Well, honey, you, you just do a fantastic job. Thank you. And, um, Lucy, if you let me know how when to, um, when it's time to to uh, to let Portia back on the stage because see they have to cue me in and, and Lucy's working the floor by herself this evening. Normally we have four or five people, makeup people, costume people because oh. it's a huge production out here. It is. Oh, it, well look at it. Look well, at look the audience. Set, honey. Well, I'm. <laughs> Seriously, you would be shocked to see uh, what goes on behind the scenes. Uh -huh. it's Black sheets everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. The green room, well, actually, it's a chair, but yeah. it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. At least you can put makeup on, can't Hello. you? Hello. Yeah, I'm nice. happy. <laughs> so, what is your, what is your favorite character? My favorite character. You know what? I don't think I've found it yet. Well, you know, good for you. It's, I, it's nice to keep searching and. and oh, absolutely. Find it. Yeah. Keep yeah. yourself fresh, and I'd oh, love a good challenge. Mm -hmm. And you sing in your, your voice, but when you use your voice, do you, you take it up a couple of octaves when you do the uh, high voices, or is that your natural, or is um, it a falsetto? Well, some of, some of those really top ranges are falsetto, but I have an unnaturally high voice. Yeah. So most of it's full voice. Oh, well, that's, that's great. It's mm -hmm. absolutely wonderful. If I do Julie Andrews, that's falsetto. But then well, again, I think she's falsetto. I think too, Julie so Andrews is falsetto. How do you do, do those notes like that? You I know? have no idea. Well, she can't. Not anymore. <laughs> Oh, well, listen, I'm so glad, and, and you know, you're a gem, and I'm certainly glad that New York let you go for two weeks to come down to entertain us. Well, it was a, it was a struggle. It oh, was a struggle, Lollabelle, let uh, me tell you, but honey, it was fine. I'm sure it was, and please, people, go down tonight and, and tomorrow night and next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Q West is full of wonderful entertainers. Yes, it is. Not only in the gay district, but in the straight, uh, straight area as well. We, it's just uh, it's amazing. An island this small has so much wonderful entertainment and Absolutely. still can import people like yourself. Oh, honey, I love it. Uh, and all the girls have been so sweet. Oh, they are. So but there's wonderful. one watch out for, that RV Beaumont. She is, she is a terror. <laughs> She's been nothing but nice. A little quiet, but nice. <laughs> I don't take that, that knife out of your back. Um, if you would, if you would um, close us out with the song. Sure. Okay. And uh, is this you're going to... The, the, the song you're going to do, is it, is it a medley or is it a one? Oh, it's just full on Janice. Honey. Oh my God, my favorite. I, I had to warm myself up. Would you do up. Janice Joplin to take us out? All right. All right. Just, just, just for you, Lollipop. Just, just one for more you. For, for, one for my baby and one for, what is and that? One, oh, just one for my baby and, and one, one more for the road. One more for the road. Absolutely. Portia, of course I will. thank you for taking out your busy schedule. I know that you're busy. You had rehearsals and everything. Oh. And if you would mind, Miss Lucy over there would. Not at all. Turn the mic on past standby this time, and oh, love thank you, dear. Thank oh, you. Thank oh, you. Thank before you, so you go, let me. I have oh. a little, little um, appreciation here that I give all my guests. Oh my lord! And um, this just oh, for a little God. something to take back with you to use as toilet paper when you run out. It's Her oh, Royal Highness. Oh, Lollabelle, thank you. Lollabelle, Queen Mother, Fourteenth, both King and Queen of Fantasy Fest, does hereby bequeath and bestow upon. Portia, the title of honorary knight in the southernmost queendom of the USA on this the 4th of February 2005 in beautiful Key West, Florida. How sweet! I'm a knight! Oh, oh it's, it's thank metal you. night. Lady night. Oh, thank you, and, darling. And, and you know what? I have something for you, too. And, oh, shoot. Do you, oh, we didn't bring it. Well, I tell you what. I've got, I brought a headshot for you, and I'll sign it for you after the show. Oh, great. great. Absolutely. Oh, oh, this is wonderful. Isn't it? I don't it? know if we could... If we can get a close-up, do we have enough time, Lucy? If not, okay. No, no, no time. Um, I'll oh, show you next you. week. Absolutely. And if you would take the mic. Absolutely. Be... Thank you, dear. You of know course. theater well, don't you? Oh. <laughs> don't touch me that way. Okay. 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 Right, and this is Porsche. Porsche. Yes, like the car. Like the car. Like the car.
car. Are we all on? Okay. I'm ready if I you're guess ready. We're gonna do some dance in there. Method acting. <laughs> Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train, and I was feeling near as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained, and it rode us all the way to New Orleans. Pulled my harper out of my dirty red bandana. I was playing soft for Bobby, sang the blues long. Windshield wipers slapping time. I was holding Bobby's hand in mine. I sang every song that driver knew. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing. It ain't nothing on if it ain't free. Feeling good was easy, no, when he sang the blues. Hey, feeling good was good enough for me. It was good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. Cheers, Desiree, this one's for you. From the Kentucky coal mines to the California sun, we get Bobby share the secrets of my soul. Through all kinds of weather, through everything that we've done, yeah, Bobby, baby, kept me from a cold world. One day up near Salinas, no, I let him slip away. He's looking for that home, and I hope he finds it. Cause I trade all the might of my flaws for one single yesterday to be holding Bobby's body next to mine. And freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing. Well, that's all that Bobby left me. Feeling good was season oh, when he sang the blues. Hey, feeling good was good enough for me. Ooh, it's good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. La-la-la, la-la-la. La 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 Hey, my Bobby, know you Bobby McGee. Yeah, well, call him a lover, call him a man. I said, I call him a lover. Well, the best I can, come on. You know you won't, you Bobby McGee. Hey, 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 said a Bobby McGee. Cheers, Lollabelle. Oh, that was good for me. Don't worry, it was just ginger ale. I love you. It's a long musical break. Big Brother and the Holding Company is right backstage. I want to thank you so much for having oh, me on tonight. This is my pleasure having you on. Anytime, anytime you want to come okay. see me in New York, honey, you've got an open stage. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, dear. You. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you so much. Till next week, God love you very much. And take care. Bye-bye now. See you. And thank you, Porsche. It was wonderful.
This week on Waterways. Fort Jefferson's historic military presence. And the Queen of Nassau. August 1814. In the heat of the night, Americans taking refuge in Leesburg, Virginia, watched the British burn and loot their capital. They sailed into Chesapeake Bay, and thousands of British soldiers marched overland. They captured Washington, D.C., and they burned our nation's capital to the ground. Consequently, as Congress returned to the smoldering ruins of our capital, they promised the American people that that would never happen again. In the aftermath of British invasion, Congress authorized the construction of a series of 51 forts to protect the country's long and vulnerable coastline from Maine to Texas. More forts were planned and built for the West Coast following the addition of California to the Union. Homeland defense was crucial in the early 1800s, and the leaders of our young nation, they had to build these fortifications. For if we had failed to, to fortify our vulnerable coasts, that would have been an invitation to disaster. One of the largest and most expensive of these forts was Fort Jefferson, located on Garden Key, 70 miles west of Key West. 